welcome to this demonstration of the JTAG Live Clip module. Clip is an easy to use graphical tool for debugging your board using an interactive test generator. I'll be using the same project as seen in the JTAG Live Buzz video. The boundary scan controller I'm using will be the JTAG Technologies 3705 USB Explorer, although you can also use the controllers from the FPGA vendors. As always, you should start out by running the infrastructure test. The infrastructure tests make sure the cables are connected up properly and we can communicate with the boundary scan devices on your board. As you can see here, it's passed and you can also see the test vectors that were automatically generated by JTAG Live. So let's create a new task for a clip. And we can shrink down the old one, the buzz application. Let's open up clip and we start off with a blank screen. What we're going to do in clip is to test a non-scan device that is connected to a boundary scan device. In other words, we're going to use the boundary scan device as test points to drive and sense nets on a non-scan device. I'll flip over to the schematic and show you uh, the circuit. This is a TTL138 device. There are six inputs and eight outputs. There are three pins used here to enable the device or disable the device. And then there are three select pins here that can be driven uh, through uh, the numbers zero to seven. And depending upon how they're driven, um, the output will be driven low. Again, they're a zero through seven to correspond to these three pins, A, B, and C. But this device is connected to a boundary scan device here. Uh, all the input pins and all the output pins. So this Lattice 2064 boundary scan device will be used as test points to drive the inputs and then to sense the outputs. So let's go back to uh, JTAG Live and start adding that information in. The first thing I'm going to do is define some pin groupings. As I mentioned a moment ago, there are select pins, enable pins, and output pins. So let's start off by defining enable pins. Select pins and output pins. The enable pins are pins 47, 46, and 45. Scroll down here to 47, 46, and 45. The select pins, 48, 49, and 51. 48, 49, and 51. Like so. And then there are the output pins, uh, 52, 53, oops, 55, got them written down here, 56, 57, 58, 67 and 68. Okay, there are all the pins. Again, that's from the schematic. If you come back here to the schematic, you can see the, the pin numbers. If I zoom in a little bit better, you can see the pin numbers that are being used to drive the inputs and to sense the outputs. So they're all now defined here. So now I can select these and put them over here on the right, like so. And let's add a vector. Uh, the enable pin has to, have to be a 1, 0, 0 pattern to enable the device. And this R means that we're going to read that value, and that's not correct here. We want to write that value out to the board. In other words, drive those pins. Uh, onto the input of that 138 chip. Uh, the same is true for the select. 
and the outputs, we want to read those values or sense those values. Um, once we have created a, a vector here, we can uh, copy it and then uh, paste it. Um, in fact, we can select multiple vectors, do a copy and paste like so. Copy and paste. So now we have several vectors here. They all do the same thing at the moment. Uh, the select line, we just uh, want to uh, count 0 through 7 there to drive uh, the 8 output pins. And we can do that quite easily here um, by setting the counter pattern. But we can also do walking 1 and walking 0 pattern if that's what we want to do. So there's the pattern. 0 through 7. Now we can write in the outputs, but it's uh, far easier to go out uh, drive these um, enable and select patterns onto the device and then just read back the patterns from the board. So we can come over here and I can do what's called a continuous single step which will go out and drive the board and now you can see the output patterns can see that it's a, a walking zero pattern. So what the JTAG Live did is go out, um, drive those pins on the input side, and then read the output side of that 138 chip. Again, back to the schematic. We uh, enabled these pins by the 100, and then we counted on the ABC pins, and that uh, drove the outputs low in sequence that you can see here. You can uh, now save these as uh, expected results and then uh, run them on other boards to uh, get uh, or to confirm that the other boards are working uh, the same way. So now we have two different tasks here that can be used to uh, test the board. One using the buzz and one using the, the clip. So I hope that uh, is a good uh, introduction to JTAG Live uh, clip application. Please go to jtaglive.com for more information and to order your clip software today. Thank you.